Okay, how you doing? I'm Maxwell Carlisle. Today I'm going to do a review of a brand new, as of 2008, Kramer Striker. These are available from musicio.com. You can also get them on musiciansfriend.com. Uh, maybe a, a few other places like Amazon or something like that. Anyway, uh, Kramer, the company, went out of business a while back uh, in the 90s and was bought out by Gibson. So now Gibson is making the new Kramers. Anyway, it's a pretty cool uh, shred guitar. They say Kramer's uh, built to rock hard, okay? Pretty cool shred guitar. Uh, something kind of unique about this guitar is the pickups in it. This is what they call a, a quad rail, okay? It looks like a humbucker. It's actually two humbucking single coils linked together, so it's kind of the equivalent of having four single coils or like two humbuckers crammed together in one humbucker size pickup. Then they've done the same thing with the neck and the middle pickup. Anyway, I'll take you through the settings. Uh, the other specs on it, uh, we've got a licensed Floyd Rose with a locking trim, 24 fret maple fretboard. It's a 16 inch fretboard radius, so very flat. And uh, also the other cool thing is we've got a coil tap on here. So the bridge and the neck, all these pickups actually, because again, it's, it's, like a, it's like a humbucker in a single coil size pickup, you can turn off half the coil and get uh, kind of a strat type sound out of it. Anyway, I'll go ahead and take you through uh, some of the settings on here, some of the different tones you can get out of the guitar. I'm using a Randall RG100 uh, into a Behringer 4x12 cab. It's a pretty bassy cab. And then uh, for a uh, distortion here, I'm using a Electro Harmonics Metal Muff. Okay, let's check out some of the settings. Okay, so let's start with the neck pickup here with the coil tap turned off. Okay, now if we turn the coil tap on, okay, that buzz kicks in. That's pretty loud. Okay, anyway, let's listen to it. Okay, so you get a little bit more of that, um, woman tone or that, that strat sound. Okay, also on the bridge pickup here, I'll go ahead and turn the coil tap on so you can see how that sounds. Okay, it's a little bit noisier. You can hear that again. Kind of clicks in there. Anyway, I kind of prefer the tone a little bit, except for the noise. I like it. It's a little bit better in terms of note definition. Um, overall, the pickups on this guitar are uh, pretty bassy, um, decent mid range. For me, they're a little bit lacking in the high end. Uh, it's not a whole lot, of, not a whole lot of clarity, that kind of thing. Uh, the notes just don't, don't seem to jump out as well as uh, other guitars equipped with higher end pickups. I'm probably going to replace the bridge pickup with uh, a GFS or a, a, a DiMarzio, something like that.
Okay, so basically that's the Kramer Striker. Um, if you're looking for a good shred guitar, this is a good one to go with. Like I said, personally, I'm probably going to change the bridge pickup out. But yeah, these retail for like $250, $260. Uh, they got a version that's just like this, only it's got a flame maple top, which is like 20 bucks or more. Bar. The neck is awesome, plays really comfortable, really easy. If you don't want to deal with the Floyd Rose, they make a version of this guitar with a rosewood fretboard that has a stop bar tailpiece on it, so there's no tremolo at all. Uh, maple neck, alder body, 24 fret, Floyd Rose, licensed Floyd Rose, double locking trim, coil tapping. Um, I've got DiMarzio strap locks on mine, those uh, don't come stock, but no, it's a sweet guitar, you want to shred, check it out.